Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a police car flashing lights animation in Blender Eevee. First, press Z and switch to Render Preview Mode. Go to the Render Properties tab and set the Render Engine to Eevee. Under Viewport Samples, set the value to 64. Higher sample values give smoother, less noisy previews. Enable ray tracing for more realistic lighting effects like reflections, refractions, and shadows. It works by simulating how light interacts with surfaces. Now, select one of the roof lights. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Shader Editor. Click New to create a new material and rename it to Red Light. Delete the principled shader and add an emission shader instead. The emission shader makes the surface act like a light source. Connect the emission shader to the material output node and choose a red color. Increase the strength value to make it brighter. If the strength is set to zero, the light won't emit. We'll animate this strength value to create the flashing light effect. Add a math node and set it to greater than. If the value is greater than the threshold, it will emit light. If it is lower than the threshold, it won't emit light. So we can control when the light turns on and off. Now, we will control the value with a noise texture. Add a noise texture and plug the factor output to the value input of the math node. Set the number of dimensions to one. This way, the noise is generated using a single value called W as input. Now if you slide the W value, the light turns on and off at intervals. Let's animate this value with a driver. Type in the expression sharp frame divided by 10. This will drive the W value based on the timeline, creating an animation over time. Press the spacebar to play the animation. As you can see, the light turns on and off at intervals. You can make these intervals shorter by lowering the number in the driver expression. We can also control the light's brightness by adding another math node. Set it to multiply and connect it after the greater than node. Set the value to 50 to make the light brighter. Now, select the roof lights and assign the same material by choosing it from the material list. Next, let's create the blue lights. Select one of the roof lights and assign the red light material from the list. You'll see a number five next to the material name. That means five different objects are using this material. Click the number to make the material unique and independent from the others. Now, change the emission color from red to blue. Rename the material to blue lights and assign it to the remaining blue roof lights. Press the spacebar to play the animation. As you can see, the red and blue lights flash at the same time, but I want them to flash at different intervals. To do that, go to the W value and change the driver expression to frame divided by 25. Play the animation again. That's it. All right, it's time to add a glow effect. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Compositor and enable the Use Nodes option. Add a Glare node. To see the glare effect in the viewport, go to the Viewport Shading menu and set it to Always. Change the glare type to Fog Glow. You can increase the strength value to make the glow brighter.
and also adjust the size to control how wide the glow appears. Finally, go to the World Properties tab and lower the World Light Strength value. This will make the flashing lights stand out more clearly in the viewport. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.